All right, so I recently cast up this nice piece of curly koa. Customer wanted it to have some orange resin with it, so we did a curly koa with a uh, the natural live edge. You can see it going right through there, and then put on some orange with a little bit of bronze pearlex powder, and then add a little bit of pearl powder to that as well, and it turned out really nice. Really excited to get this turned up. It's got some really cool colorations to it, as you can see going through there. So let's go ahead and get this loaded on here. This is going to be an editor pen with a G2 conversion. Get set up here and get this turning. Well, I found the piece, and here it is. So it just popped off for whatever reason. It didn't have very good connection to that piece of koa. Just kind of popped off and flew across the shop. So it came off in one single chunk. So I'm just going to glue this back in. We'll turn it up, see how it looks. If you can tell that there's a crack there, then I will recast it and get it going. If you can't tell, then I will send it as is. So let's get some medium CA here. Just get it all around in that area and get it going. A piece of blue shop towel under there in order to catch any drips that come off. I'm just going to hit the outside of this with a little activator. It's not going to set the glue that's down inside, but it'll make it so I don't have to stand here and hold it for an exorbitant amount of time. There we go. Now I'm going to let that sit overnight. You don't want to uh, start turning it right away because the glue that's down inside um, needs time to fully cure up. And so I'm going to let that sit overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll get that turned up. So our blank has sat for 24 hours and it's fully cured up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this turned. I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to be turning still at full speed, but I'm going to take it a little easier passes with my tool. Alright, it's looking good so far. So you keep turning it down and get it all the way down to the bushings. Alright, I'm at the bushings on one side but not the other. Gotta rotate this around just slightly. Go at it from the other angle. There we go. 
I'm going to get this all sanded up and ready for CA finish, and I'll join you guys back in just a second. All right, I've got this all set up, cleaned up with denatured alcohol. You can see that it looks really nice. We're going to get this uh, CA finish applied on here, and we'll get it going. Should be using some glue boost on this. So I've got medium, and I've got thin. I'm going to do two coats of medium and then three coats of thin. And then use an activator in between in order to seal it up. Turn what's usually a half hour to an hour long process into just about five minutes. Turn my speed all the way down to low. Here we go. All right, we got the CA finish all done up here. It's looking really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish this up and then we'll get it ready to put together. Just glue in both ends. And then custom fit our spring. We'll unthread this just in case there's any glue on the tip and then we'll let that sit for about 10 minutes or so make sure that glue fully sets up all right our glue is fully set up so we'll go ahead and take our ink here we'll drop it down in this is a g2 on this one it's absolutely no play in the ink so i'm not going to need a spring so that one is done check out that curly koa that we got on there really a beautiful pen we got a really nice curl to that koa Really beautiful orange on there. Turned out quite nice. Cap fits on good. Clicks onto the back really nicely. Yeah, that one turned out great. Real nice, secure, snug fit on the cap. Yeah, it's a gorgeous pen. Let me go get that shipped. Mm -hmm. 